much, Ed. Good morning, Clay and Dale. Good morning. Good morning. So nice to talk to you guys every Friday. So we have to start off. A lot of us heard it uh, driving into work this morning. Christmas music playing already, or holiday music playing already on the radio. What do you guys think about this? Uh, yeah, our sister station, uh, the first in Buffalo to play Christmas music today, 96.1. Um, WJYE, they've got it going, and uh, we walked into the office this morning, <laughs> came off the elevator. Christmas, Merry Christmas. And it's Christmas. There's a Christmas tree, there's music playing. It's, it's the holidays, I guess. Decorations all over the place. Yeah, you know, I have to say, I like hearing it on the radio. Oh, there we see. Oh, my gosh, you guys are already, you're not, you're not joking around there. You really do have your decorations up already. We're looking at a picture that you guys sent over to us. You know, why not get in the yes. holiday spirit? It's a good giving spirit. Yeah, I guess our elves were busy overnight because when I left here yesterday, there was not even a not even a mistletoe hanging anywhere. The so elves we got a poll up busy. at uh, wyrk.com. What is the right time to start playing Christmas music? Uh, is it what are the the four four or five choices? Four choices it? now uh, after Thanksgiving, the week before Christmas, or Christmas Eve. <laughs> and what's winning so far? Did you put that in there? I didn't put never. Never. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, well, who's winning so far? What what category do you guys know? Uh, after Thanksgiving is what most people think uh, when it comes to Christmas music. Okay, well, there we go. Talking about this weekend, it's Veterans Day, of course, on Sunday, and you guys are doing something really nice and special. Talk to us about that. Yeah, uh, well, you know, it's the least we can do to try to recognize the veterans in Western New York, whether they're, um, you know, passed on or listeners of the station, friends of listeners. We, we uh, invite people to send us photos and stories, and we're just going to put together a wall of fame when it comes to veterans in Western New York. We can never forget them. Yeah, I think that's a fabulous thing to do. We've been getting pictures into our station, too. And what I think is so touching is the stories that go along with the pictures. It really pulls at your heartstrings, and you just have to give so much thanks to all the servicemen and women, you know, who keep our freedom free. Yeah, you know, right. my, uh, my brother, when he went off to the Marine Corps, I, I didn't know what to expect. But when he came back, uh, man, he was not the guy he was when he left. He came back a gentleman. Uh, really in shape and you know his uh, his devotion and sacrifice to this country is something that I've always been very proud of so hey if we can share that with Western New York that's awesome absolutely and Dale you're also going to be doing something this weekend you're gonna be at UB for the taste of home cooking school talk to me about that yeah taste of home cooking school uh, doors open at uh, 10 30 uh, cooking school be begins about 1 o'clock and it's uh, a nationally known uh, uh, chef that's gonna be there doing the cooking and it's uh, Michael Barna and, and he was great last year, all kinds of uh, great cooking tips. And he'll have, I think he had 10 recipes last year and uh, things that you can do at home if you, if you like to cook or if you like to eat like I do, <laughs> um, this is the place for you. It's uh, UB Center for the Performing Arts, and you get your tickets right there tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a great event. He was actually on Wingy yesterday, and like you said, Dale, he's going to have 10 recipes again this year, and he's going to be completing them, I think, in around 10 minutes. So really uh, doable recipes at home. And I also have to mention, I have noticed somebody is participating in No Shave November. Talk to yeah, me about that. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, I got to work on getting like a trimmer to, to maintain it, but I'm trying to get Dale on bar board for the whole beard thing for No Shave November. I just can't stand that that stubble, you know, below, you know, on, on that chin. I just can't stand it. I don't know how you could stand it. It could act as a little bit of an insulator with the cold uh, weather here in western New York, although it's going to be like 70 degrees on Sunday and Monday. But <laughs> Yeah, I'm, That's I'm, an idea. I'm wondering about that. It might get a little itchy around then, but I think it's pretty cool. What the heck? It's something to be a part of. <laughs> yeah, you know, absolutely, guys. Thanks so much for talking All to right. us on this Friday. We'll check in with you next Friday. And remember, Have a good weekend. you too. Bye, guys.